G'day, welcome to Mount Cranberry Apiculture. It's the 29th of January 2022. Got a hive here that's queenless. Um, a couple of hours ago it was a triple. Uh, 10 frame triple, two honey supers and a brood box. Um, I noticed this was queenless about a month ago and as with everything I just give them a chance to let them sort themselves out but this one hasn't so uh, what I've done is taken the two honey supers off there in the shed I'll extract them, use those frames for other things. Um, so I'm going to just shake these bees out. If I could re-clean them, I could put more brood in there, see how they go, but it's really uh, pointless really. No, I've got plenty of hives here, another hundred kicking around in other places. So what I get concerned about when hives go queenless like this is that the small hive beetle will get stuck into them. They sort of lose that ability to operate as a, as a beehive. And that's when beehives are really vulnerable when they just lose that cohesiveness and organisation I guess and they just cease to be a beehive so it's really important under our biosecurity laws to uh, reduce these hives down and do something with them rather than just let them die out and get robbed out so and I don't want that anyway so um, also it's a big loss if if the beetles get stuck into these things and three you know tree supers of comb and honey and wax and all that sort of stuff all those resources that are gone and it's a terrible waste so we know that to happen so uh, there's about 10 frames in here of you know pollen and honey and bits and pieces I might throw a couple out but they won't be any good I'll just um, melt them down the bees are not lost they'll go into this hive here there's a few hives there and there's another one just sitting over here as well so I don't, I don't see it as a loss I just see it as as you know saving the resources that are here so what I'm going to do now is just shake these bees out and you'll see that if they don't just sit there in a big lump they will fly away into these other hives and um, I'll just get them in another box here and just walk them away a little bit and blow the last few bees out with my leaf blower, so from the bee blower. So. Alright, so we'll get you started on these now. See that frame hopefully you can see it it's full of pollen so uh, they're great for raising queens lots of uses or they can just go into hives that need that need that need a bit of pollen so you can see that see that pollen in there a bit of shake in them too which is interesting good net to play on once again a big frame of pollen there I know, I know they're queenless because there's just no sign of anything in there. I'm not, not concerned that there's a, an unmated queen in there or anything like that. They just, they've just got no hope or, or optimism about them. See that shake coming out again. Nectar flow. What I mean by optimism is when a hive has got an unmated queen in there that hasn't really laid, you'll see a, they'll start clearing out a nice patch in there and lighten that frame right up ready, ready for it to lay. But this isn't happening in this hive, so yeah, I'm really confident that they are hopelessly queenless. So 
this hive has dwindled back quite a bit. For a triple decker, there aren't really many bees left in here, which is why they get vulnerable. Small hive beetle. Another good frame of pollen there on the wall. It's a cracker. They're really, really useful for uh, raising queens. Always like to have a few to put aside. Cover them over for a second. One of the reasons I picked today to do this is that my partner's away for a couple of days, so um, there's going to be bees flying around here for a little while and uh, I don't want her to get stung. There's the bees on the bottom board. I'm just going to take everything away from them. So to say they're not happy is an understatement. Um, they'll take a little while just to realise that, the, that their hive's gone. But you can see them picking up and moving towards that hive next door already. So it'll get a nice boost of bees. And the one behind it as well will get a nice, nice boost of bees. Uh, the plan is now to, to move this hive here over gradually to this point here and give it a home in that spot. So I'll start doing that a little bit later. So just to recap, um, when a hive goes queenless like this, um, it's been queenless for about a month. Um, opportunities to do much with it are, are gone. So yeah, taking the two honey supers off, they're in the shed to be extracted. Shaking the brood box out, I'll salvage a couple of nice frames of pollen out of that to um, help me with my queen breeding, which I'll start soon. and. Um, the rest will just go back into into hives, into starter nukes, mating nukes, and they'll all be made use of. Really important that you don't let hives dwindle away to the point that a small hive beetle gets stuck into them. So it's a big loss. The only time I've ever lost hives to a small hive beetle is when they're queenless, like that big hive there. So you can just see them moving in into the entrance to that hive there now. So I just got the last few bees in this brood box and just going to blow them out with a leaf blower just to clear them right out before I take them into the, into the honey shed.
that's it. Job done.